Hello everyone. I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about half subtractor. It is also one kind of basic combinational logic circuit. Let us study half subtractor and we start with the block diagram. We have block diagram of the half subtractor. At the input side, we have two terminals A as well as B. In case of half subtractor, we have a difference of A as well as B at the output and that is known as a D. D for difference. We have two binary bits A and B and the difference A minus B that is available at the output side as a D output. And in case of borrow, we have another output and that is known as a BO or borrow. We have two terminals at the input side and we have two terminals at the output side. Let us understand binary subtraction, then it will be very easy to prepare a truth table. So we have two binary bits 0 minus 0. Obviously, the difference is 0 and there is no borrow. Then 1 minus 0. Difference is 1. Borrow is 0. 1 minus 1. Difference 0. Borrow is also 0. But the last condition 0 minus 1. Difference is 1. And at the same time, we have borrow that is 1. So this last condition 0 minus 1 is very important in case of binary subtraction. Now let us prepare a truth table for the half subtractor. We have considered two input A as well as B. So total four input combination are possible and that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So we have inputs as well as outputs. In case of output, we have one of the output that is difference and another output that is borrow. At the input side, we have A as well as B, two binary bits. And at the output, D for the difference and BO that is for the borrow. Let us take first condition that is 0, 0. So difference is 0 and borrow is also 0. Second condition 0, 1. In case of 0, 1, we have difference 1 as well as borrow also 1. Third condition 1, 0, 1 minus 0. So difference is 1 and borrow is 0. And last condition that is 1 minus 1. Difference 0, borrow is also 0. So, this is truth table for the half subtractor. Now, if we prepare a Boolean function for the difference as well as for the borrow, then we have to identify certain input condition or combination for which we are getting high output. First, let us see for the difference. For the input condition 0, 1, we are getting difference output high as well as for the 1, 0 input condition also we are getting high output that is difference for the difference. So we can write a boolean function in SOP form that is D is equal to 0, 1 plus 1, 0 and we can write a bar B plus A B bar. In case of a small root table, we can directly derive Boolean function from the root table itself. Otherwise, we have to go for KMAP and then based on the KMAP, we can have a reduced or simplified Boolean function. Now, let us verify the condition for which we are getting high output for the borrow. 
we have only one condition and that is 0 1 for which we are getting a high output in the borrow. So in similar way we can write a boolean function for the borrow also and that is a 0 1 condition meaning is bo is equal to a bar dot b. So now we have both the boolean functions are available from the truth table. From the boolean function we can see that uh, the boolean function for the difference that is a bar b plus a b bar is nothing but a boolean function for the exclusive OR gate. And at the same time the boolean function for the borrow that is nothing but a boolean function for the AND gate and one of the input of the AND gate is inverted. So now based on this boolean function we can realize the circuit. So realization of the circuit and we have boolean function for our reference that is D is equal to A bar dot B plus A dot B bar and that is a boolean function for the exclusive OR gate with two input A as well as B. And we have boolean function for borrow that is A bar dot B. Now it is very easy to realize the circuit. We have one exclusive OR gate input A as well as B and at the output we have D, D for difference. We have one AND gate and output of AND gate that is a borrow. We are giving one input A that is inverted so we use one inverter and B input we are giving directly so output of AND gate that is a bar dot b and that is a boolean function or boolean output required for the borrow. Now let us prepare kmap first for the difference the procedure to design any combinational logic circuit. The first step is to identify the design statement. The second step is to prepare the truth table. The third step that is to prepare a kmap and in the fourth step we have we can implement the logic circuit with the boolean function we have derived from the kmap. We have truth table for our ready reference. Now we have two input A as well as B. So we can have a kmap with four cells we have 0, 1, 2, 3, we have total 4 cells. Input variables that is A as well as B, we can write 0, 1. For B also we can write 0, 1. We can write A bar for the 0 and A for the 1. Same way B bar for the 0 and B for the 1. Now we know the condition for the min terms. Now we are preparing a kmap for the difference so we know that uh, 0 1 and 1 0 condition we are getting high output so our min terms in terms of decimal numbers that is 1 as well as 2 so we have to write 1 in respective cell that is 1 and 2 so we have written 1 in 1 as well as 2 number of cells in remaining all cells we have to write 0 now next task that is to prepare the group of the min terms but we can see that pair is not possible so we have to go for isolated ones so we have first group and we have second group and if we write uh, product terms for each group and then we have to add both the product terms so we can write uh, d that is a uh, a bar b for the first group plus a dot b bar for the second group. So this way we can have boolean function for the difference based on the kmap and that is exactly similar which we have derived directly from the truth table. Same way we can prepare a kmap for the borrow. 
we have again uh, our truth table available for the reference now we know that uh, for the borrow we have only one condition that is 0 1 for which we are getting high output so if we write a min terms for the borrow we know that uh, in cell number one we can write a one in all other remaining cells we have to write zero if we prepare a group then we have only one min terms so one group so after uh, preparing a group we can directly uh, write a boolean function for the borrow and that is b o that is uh, a bar dot b so now we have both the boolean function for the difference as well as for the borrow we have available and now based on this boolean function we can implement the logic circuit with the basic logic gate so we have first we have for the difference we have two product terms so we have used two and gate in both the AND gate, one input is inverted, so we have to use two NOT gate. So we are giving A inverted in the first AND gate and we are giving B directly. Same way for the second AND gate, we are giving A directly and B inverted. Because it is a SOP form of a Boolean function, at the end we have to add both the product term so we use one or gate and we give output of both the and gate as an input to the or gate and output of or gate that is a difference d and that is a bar dot b plus a b bar now for the borrow we have directly the output available from the first and gate and the output of first and gate that is a bar dot b so we can directly take the output b o that is a bar b and now this is a logic circuit implementation with uh, basic gates now let us verify the limitation for the half subtractor during subtraction of multi bits in case of previous borrow when we do the subtraction of multi bits it may possible that we have a borrow from the previous stage then subtraction of three bits simultaneously is not possible in half subtractor that is one of the major limitation of the half subtractor we can use a half subtractor for the subtraction of only two binary bits to overcome this limitation we have to use full subtractor thank you very much for watching my video keep watching thank you very much